Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say your customary blessings. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence to enlighten you and may be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is short and sweet. Acts 7, 11 through 12. Now there came a famine throughout all Egypt and Canaan, and a great affliction, and our fathers could find no food. But when Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent out our fathers on their first visit. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah.